Uh, hi everyone, welcome to our presentation where my team and I are going to be talking about Jangi Pay and integrated payment system. So the idea for Jangi Pay came because of a problem. And the problem is based on a story, on my true story, when I first left my country to continue my university studies in Istanbul, Turkey, back in 2016. So I just graduated from high school. And I remember when I was in Istanbul, my dad had to send me some money for my pocket allowance. And he couldn't do so because it was so complicated to find a way for me to get that money in Istanbul. So after some time, I realized that this was a very, very big problem because I wasn't the only one facing this problem. And there were a lot of other people facing a similar problem. And that's how I came up with the idea for Jangi Pay. So why Jangi? The word Jangi stands for the word in English contribution, but in Pidgin. And Pidgin language is a language in my country of Cameroon. And this is a traditional practice where people finance, it's a traditional way of financing where people come together as a community to contribute funds and you know, start businesses and start like initiatives in the society. And the idea for this Jangi, I just decided, okay, maybe we can find something related to Jangi, financial system that already existed for thousands, for hundreds of years in my country and make it the way to, for people to make payments easily. So uh, our target customers at Jangi Pay are gonna be generally Africans or people in general living abroad. And when I think about this, as I explained to you, I had this problem as an international student because I am studying in Turkey right now and as an international student. And when I was thinking about people living abroad, the first people that came to my mind were international students. Another, pe another group of people are experts, as expatriates, people like maybe working abroad or having some kind of activity that they have to travel from country to country to perform their, you know, their jobs or their activities. Another group of uh, our customer, customer segment is uh, businesses or like traders dealing with Africa or just other countries in general where payment systems are very complicated. Uh, then there's also the young people, like the young, younger generation who are very versed with the new technologies and uh, it's gonna enable them to, to you, you use our service to like pay for things online and uh, send money to their friends and you know, just integrate the, the local payment system that really exists within, within those communities. Uh, so our value proposition is, is as follows. We are planning to solve the problems I mentioned above by first of all, enabling more money transfers within seconds, which is the speed aspect of our project. Secondly, we are trying to make a, a money transfers as reliable and secure as possible, which is gonna develop trust between our customers and us. Uh, we are also planning to enable our, like our customers to pay their bills online, like the electricity bills and other utility bills. And finally, we are planning to enable them to like buy, pay for things online and shop online in general. So these are, these, these are the value proposition for the first phase of our project. Then in the second phase, we are planning to make this more of a financial application, like a complete financial application where we can, we can make people enable, uh, be able to pay for like cryptocurrencies online and also enable and integrate other exchanges for cryptocurrencies. But this is gonna be in the second phase of our project. We can also enable people to earn passive income if they save money in our application. So it's gonna be like a financial application where if you save money, we can use this money to invest in some uh, decentralized application, financial application tools and enable them to earn passive income on these savings. So this was uh, my part and my friend is gonna continue with the customer, with the channels on how we are gonna to do to reach our customers. So if you're right, you can continue. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone, this is Fogat and I will talk about channels. Uh, the question that uh, we should answer here is that how do we reach each of our customers? JankyPay inter integrated payment system can reach its customers by a mobile application and web application. In fact, JankyPay will be a mobile application. Uh, today, everyone use smartphones and many people also do the money transfers processes with mobile applications and internet, of course. So the same situation will be with Jengi Pay. As my friends mentioned, crypto, crypto technologies and blockchain technologies can be our tool with these systems. So integration with service providers is another tool for Jengi Pay, especially the places where no internet connection. Uh, this is my part for now and Yaren will continue. 
Thank you, Fred. This is Özge Alan here. For my part, I'll be talking about customer relationships of Jengipay and revenue streams. So let's start with customer relationships. We plan a process of nurturing positive relationship with our customers, the sum of all customer interaction and experiences. We have planned an open, fast, strong, and sustainable system for our customer relations. We have created a system that can communicate with our customers quickly and easily and respond to their problems as well as possible. There are two ways for this. First of all, since JengiPay is an international project, we thought that the fastest way to solve problem is to set up an online support line on our application and also in our website. In the event of a possible problem, our customers will be able to find solutions for their problems quickly through our platforms in an automated way. For more complicated problems, we have created a call center support line. In this way, our customers will be able to reach the authorized person with only one phone call and be direct to solve their problems professionally, actually. Next slide, please. For the second part, our revenue streams. The first of our revenue streams is to generate income from a certain portion of the money transfer, transfer charges, actually. We added the table on the side as an example from Western Union's own website. As you can see in the table, Western Union ch charges its customer $15 for $100 money transfer. This is 15% of the transferred money. This is too much. As the amount increases, the amount of deduction decreases slightly, but does not fall below 10%, actually. Since we, as JengiPay, are one of the rare platforms in the market that provide money transfer between Africa and other countries all over the world, we kept this deduction fee between 1% to 4% and created a cheaper and more accessible system. In this way, our profitability will increase much more, and we will be able to reach more people and gain more profit from customer volume, actually. Secondly, we aim to make a small deduction from the exchanges of those who use crypto money in online payments and make a profit from them in the phase two of the project. Finally, we created a third profit channel by using JengiPay in the purchases made by our customers from the online shopping platforms we work with actually, for example, Amazon, eBay, AliExpress. In this way, we will both make profit from the shop online shopping and increase our visibility in a way that we we will benefit from that. This is all from me, guys. Thank you. Hi, everyone. This is Mustafa. I, I want to talk about our key activities and partners and resources. As JengiPay, we adapt to the current structure of internet technologies and follow the ongoing studies in payment systems. In this way, we think that we will not have a problem in integration with all newly released or developed systems. Our most important goal is to develop the payments and money transfers made to row our systems in a timely manner as quickly as possible. We also have a ready to use liquidation system for all transactions. On the at this point, we have full confidence in our R&D department and software team. One of the most important points for us is our global business partners. Kango, please, next slide. In order to provide uninterrupted service all over the world, bilateral agreements with all existence existing systems on payment systems are very important for us. In addition to the payment systems provided to our banking, the DeFi pool we will create will facilitate our participation in payments made to our crypto, which is becoming increasingly popular all over the world. Thank you for everyone. Now, Frat will continue his speech. Hello again, everyone. And uh, lastly, I will talk about cost structure. Uh, we said that the channels of JengiPay are a mobile application and a web application. So the costs that related with these two, such as research and development and maintenance, are in our cost implements. Moreover, the security of JengiPay is important because of the service, so security bringing costs. The other cost implements are human resources cost because the platform needs engineers to maintain. 
uh, dear all, this is our presentation about Cheng Pei. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you have question, please send email to us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you, guys. It lasts 10 minutes. Exactly. How can I uh, edit them? Stop recording. Uh, we can edit again.